What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Matt Moreno. Matt, I, I thought this Will Smith, Marcel Ozuna story had gone away, but Marcel Ozuna is bringing it back up. So let's, as we jump into this, let's recap a little bit. Things start out Monday night. Marcel Ozuna flies out to left field. And then as he's coming back towards the dugout or whatever, him and Will Smith get face to face. So kind of walk us through the timeline of this and why we're still talking about this here on a Friday. Yeah. So it started, like you said, in that fourth inning at bat in the series opener between the Dodgers and Braves, uh, Ozuna's backswing, which is on the more aggressive side. I think we could just leave it at that uh, clipped Will Smith in the helmet. And so from the looks of it, it seemed like Smith took his mask off right away and started saying something to him. I'm not sure how far up the first baseline Ozuna got, but obviously the play was made in left field as a routine fly ball. And so then he was in Smith, like they, he came face to face with Smith. And so some words were exchanged. They were separated. And then in Ozuna's at bat after that, I think maybe in the sixth inning, it looked like uh, Smith said some more things to him, not quite as demonstrative that time. Uh, then on Tuesday night, Will Smith, far beyond our diet, uh, spoke to Will Smith and he said, yeah, I moved. I think the quote was way back or, you know, all the way, yeah. not all the way. I think he said way back uh, to give himself more space for, you know, protection, because I don't think anybody wants to be hit in the head. Uh, then Wednesday, the series finale, when Ozuna hit his home run, he swung and then turned and looked at Will Smith. And my initial thought was like, are you taunting him? Like, are, are you saying like that was a yeah. good pitch call? But then replay showed that his bat hit him again. Fortunately, I guess, if you will, that one was in the left shoulder rather than the head. Uh, and so nothing was said at that point. And I think, you know, and, and we'll get into, we'll continue to get into it. Smith is, I think, a little bit more sensitive to this. One, because yeah. Ozuna is a repeat offender with a lot of people. And two, because Smith obviously missed basically two weeks this season because of a concussion. Yeah, and I think the question I'm wondering is, it, it, you know, as – from the outside is Will Smith right to be upset with Marcelo Zuna? And the answer to me is unequivocally. Yes. For a number of reasons. First of all, as you pointed out, he got hit at least three times. There was another one where it was like, he didn't hit him on his, on his swing, but then as he was kind of reloading his bat and bringing it back to a normal position, he hit him in the face. And so that's one thing. The quote that blows my mind is that this is from Justin Toscano who writes down in Atlanta. He said, Marcelo Zuna said, catchers know how he extends his backswing. He admits he has clipped JTL Romuto, Austin Barnes, and others, but those guys, Ozuna said, understand they mix, must back up when he hits. Ozuna said he didn't know Smith had a concussion. He wasn't trying to hurt him. It's worth pointing out, by the way, in game two, when Smith backed way up, Ozuna's back foot was not even in the batter's box. Both, guy, both teams were facing dudes, throwing really, really hard, so guys were backed up, but not only do you have a problem with this, but then you're standing further back than technically you are allowed. To me, Matt, like, Ozuna comes off as an absolute clown in this entire ordeal, not only because he has no control over his bat, but because he knows he does this and he expects everybody else around him to just adjust to his lifestyle, so to speak. Yeah, it, it's tough for me to say. Like, I can, I can understand, you know, of course the offensive player wants to be able to stand where he wants to in the, yeah. in the batter's box. Now, if he's within the batter's box, okay, you know, fair game. Maybe the catcher needs to give you another – half inch but like who's to say that it's the catcher that needs to be the one that adjusts yep. right and to your point you know that overhead camera shot if Ozuna is not in the batter's box then at that point I'm also holding the umpire accountable like you need to yeah. you know keep him in the batter's box like there's a safety issue at play here it's not just a matter of preference of you know guys want to be further back as opposed to uh further you know closer to the pitcher and so, you know, for me, like that's one specific instance, I blame the umpire like you need to. And it, and that would go for both teams. If Freddie Freeman was standing outside the batter's box, then, yeah, you know, tell him, hey, you need to get in it. And I know that that's been loosely uh, enforced, if at yeah. all, frankly, throughout the history of baseball. But, you know, if if uh, Manfred can make the bases bigger, if he can get his pitch clock like and, you know, get these guys into the batter's box and paying attention to the pitcher with eight seconds left. Like, I think it's reasonable to layer on, Hey, we have this chalk for a batter's box for a reason. You guys need to stay in it. Like, it's not like if a ball is hit to left field, if it, you know, goes fair or foul, they just say, Oh, well, you know, we can rule it. However we kind of choose to, because the chalk is yeah. there. It's not there. Who cares? Like, I think maybe we need to see some of that. And frankly, like 
MLB, I think, has to step in. Because like you said, and like Ozuna admitted to, he's hit a bunch of players. Like, it's not just like, like it was Will Smith this one season, this one series. Yeah, and, and that gets to the last thing. For those that haven't been around Will Smith, Matt, I, I've been around him a tiny bit during spring training. You've been around him a lot more. Maybe the least excitable person on the entire Dodgers roster. I mean, like Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts, like they have the Dodgers have some guys on that end. They've got some guys on the other end, Alex Vesia, Bruce Dark Ratterall, etc. But I mean, like when Will Smith reacts, I just give him the benefit of the doubt. Not because he's my favorite player, not because he's a Dodger, but because he never reacts. Like if Clayton Kershaw were to go ballistic on somebody, I would just be like, I don't even need context. Kershaw doesn't go ballistic. He must be correct. That's how I am with Will Smith. I think that kind of points to just how extreme of a situation we are. That of all people, Will Smith caused, you know, decided to be conflict oriented towards Marcel Ozuna and get up in his face. I think that alone speaks volumes about the situation. Yeah, that's a great point. And if if you had presented this scenario to me and said, "Hey, Will Smith's going to get hit in the head by a backswing," do you think he says something about it, or somebody maybe from the dugout starts chirping? I would have absolutely said no. It's going to be somebody from the dugout coming to his defense because it's not in his nature. And so, I think you know he is probably more sensitive to stuff with the head now because he did experience a yeah. concussion that you know in his mind was relatively mild, but it still kept him out for two weeks. So he could be looking at it as like, "Hey, man." you hit me with the bat, like who knows how much time I could miss aside from the fact that just anything with the head and the brain is obviously dangerous. And I think it doesn't, it didn't help that. I, I don't know if it was last season that Ozuna hit him or the year before that, but that, that is known. And I'm sure Ozuna has this reputation that's gone around the league amongst catchers yeah. that they know, like this is, like I said, it's not a one-time thing. Like it happens over and over. And again, if he is standing further back in the box, like, okay, but let's just make sure we're keeping him in the batter's box. And, you know, Outside of that, I don't necessarily see, uh, unfortunately, much more MLB can do to sort of enforce like a change here. Yeah. And the last piece of the story, by the way, is Ozuna came out and said publicly how frustrated he was because in his mind, Will Smith showed him up, which again, the lack of self-awareness here from Marcelo Ozuna, you hit him in the head, he gets in your face. And I'll give I'll give both guys credit that this didn't escalate beyond Will Smith getting in his face. Ozuna didn't seem to sort of ramp up the aggressiveness in that situation. So that was good. I think Will Smith had every right to get in his face and Ozuna kind of took it to his credit, but to then come back the next day and say, Hey, I keep hitting people. They should move back. They should adjust out of their position. This is on them. Not me. The only guy in all of major league baseball, apparently that has this problem. And then to double down again the next day and say, Oh, by the way, screw that guy for kind of, you know, making me look like look bad. It's like, you know why you look bad? Because you're hitting people in the head with a bat. Because you're the only player in the league that can't control his bat path and continues to do this. And by the way, you know you have a problem and you're doing nothing about it. And so uh, this is a big fat L for Team Marcelo Zuna for me, Matt. Um, and, and for all the reasons we've mentioned, because he's the only guy, because Will Smith is not excitable, he's not looking for conflict. And so all, all those reasons to me, uh, make this a pretty clear one for me. I'd love to hear from people in the comments below. Is there somebody, is there something we're missing? And I would also say this, give me your rankings. Which Dodger would you be most surprised if they were the aggressor in an argument such as this one? I think Will Smith's got to be in the top three in that one. Are there people I'm missing, Matt? I, I mean, Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts, those Kershaw, those don't seem like guys that would start something. A lot of the other guys I could, I could see, you know, getting a little frisky. Yeah, and I mean, even the three you named, I could see if they're provoked enough. I think between Mookie, Freeman, and Kershaw, Mookie's probably closest to Will Smith in terms of, like, I think he'll just blow off a lot of things. Yeah. Kershaw and Freeman, I think if you instigate or if you if you hit the wrong chord with them, I think you will get, you know, kind of a, yeah. a strong response. You know, especially if it's something with uh, with Kershaw. If it has to do with, like, the rules, you know, like yeah, games fair. at Dodger Stadium start at 7-10, not at 7-11, uh, yeah. as Tyler Anderson learned. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think you you hit the nail on the head with those guys. So let us know which Dodger would surprise you most if they were the aggressor. And let us know what you think about this Marcel Ozuna story as well. That's Matt Moreno. My name is Jeff Spiegel. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, go Dodgers.